Alright, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another video and it is the end of the week maybe the start of the week depending on whenever i get this video up but we had a couple of releases over this weekend i did not get the one thing that i was going to be aiming for had a birthday yesterday and then today is sunday it's rainy i'm chilling so uh i'm just i'm just in the house today kind of just just in the house so let's talk about some of the releases that came out this week and this is going to be another heat or hype where we talk about the different releases from throughout the week do we like them do we not did you think they were heat did you think they were hype what did you cop just a week in kind of roundup let me know if you copped anything this week you were sleeping what did you get what did you not get let me know and as always remember if i don't talk about a shoe that you wanted me to talk about or that release either i didn't edit it in i forgot about the shoe or i just didn't give a shit to talk about it because i thought it was that trash and of course we can't start the video without shouting out to the finesse gang i appreciate y'all coming through on a couple of last videos the comments are right here if you want to get your name up on the screen subscribe drop a like on this video make sure you finesse the bell and get to the videos early comment down below hey if you see your name on the screen go ahead tag me on ig tweet at me on twitter i'll retweet it i'll like it on ig congratulations you have made it into the official on screen finesse game but shouts out to everybody that came through and watched the videos over the weekend so without further ado it is time for heater hype let's get it first up this week we got something for the ladies out there or the small feet gang alike we have the bordeaux air drawn 13 i'm aware that some dudes might try to flex this one but to me this is definitely a chick colorway guys i would stay away from this one even small feet gang guys I would stay away from this release. Now this one is an all over sale on the outside of that ivory color and then you have the Bordeaux hits all around the shoe. Different from the 12 where most of the shoe is primarily that Bordeaux colorway and then the underside of it is that white off white ivory color. Now with this one, like I said, man, I think it's definitely a chick colorway. Um, it's a nice pair of 13s. Small feet gang, y'all let me know if y'all cop these up. You know, I, I can't fit these at all, nowhere near that size so and, you know it wasn't for me it wasn't for me from the beginning so y'all let me know out there air Jordan 13 bordeaux heater hype or you just eh, just another release passed on it next up we got the air jordan 17 trophy room i definitely think this pair is better than the 16s that at least i got that all over dark teal colorway now these are all over gray suede on the uppers gold accents here and there they're clean but it is one of the higher numbered Air Jordan Retros, I, look, I know a lot of people don't really like over like 12 sometimes or over 14. People like one through 14. But I do like that the Trophy Room pairs themselves have been on some of the higher numbers. Like we have the 16, we have the 17, maybe we'll get an 18 next year because we know that the 18s are supposed to drop again. So only time will tell. In my opinion, it was a dope release. I saw that Kid Cudi got a pair which was dope. Me personally, I didn't even really follow the release closely. I didn't think I would be able to get it regardless. So, Trophy Room Air Jordan 17, I, I think it's a pretty heat shoe. Some of y'all might not like it, but y'all let me know down below. We need to get on the next one. Next up for the week, we have the Adidas Consortium in Exhibition out of Cleveland. Yo, shouts out to Exhibition. But this was an Adidas Consortium release with Exhibition, and I'm looking at it right here just to make sure I get the name correct. It's an Adidas Consortium T-Rex Trace, what, Trace Finder. Trace Finder, Turex Trace Finder. This is basically, I mean, I would equate it to like any of the Nike boots, basically. That's what this is to me. It's an Adidas boot with boost on the bottom, like an Adidas sneaker boot with the boost on the bottom. I mean, they're cool, but I wear them, nah, not really my style, so I pass with ease. Y'all let me know, some of y'all might wanna fuck with these. I mean, they look straight. They look like they will keep you, you know, correct for the winter when it's snowing and raining and shit. They look like all terrain type shit, but for me, I'm gonna I'm let that one go. I'm gonna let y'all have that. Next up, we had the Nike Vandal High in the Doc Brown colorway, basically an all over orange vintage looking Vandal. And this one, of course, takes notes from Back to the Future, Doc Brown's shoes being all orange. I'm gonna keep this one short. I haven't worn Vandals since like middle school and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I think the best Vandal was the John Elliott joint. John Elliott. I don't know why I had that weird E on that joint, but the John Elliott joints were clean. This pair for me, pass. Next up on our list of releases, we have Hong Kong's Juice with Foot Patrol in London, and they came together for another Adidas Consortium release on, I think it's called the Handball Top and the Match Court Mid. 
two not the most like popular adidas models but i think they really nailed it and hit it out of the park with the theme at least the theme is like souvenirs so you have london and hong kong coming together i think the match court mid has more of an embroidered almost souvenir jacket looking feel to it and then the handball top which i think is the low top blue pair um it's more simple i like the hue of the blue that they use and it's not as out there but they do still have a nice couple design elements here and there and from the pictures that i saw they had like a lot of different little accessories like mugs and pens and cups and souvenirs that you usually would get so i mean all in all it might be one of those more low-key collabs of the year but i definitely think they did a good job with their theme and what they're doing with it i think they did a really good job might not be one some of the best you know models to put them on but i think it's good when they put them on lesser known models to let people know hey maybe you might fuck with this maybe you might fuck with that if you don't it's cool for me past on the nike basketball side of things we have the lebron 15 ashes dropping and this colorway is clean i've seen it in person i do like the lebron 15 i think the best colorway that has dropped so far is the tan pair the, i don't even know what they call them at this point I, what, what do they call them the goat it's not ghosting i don't even fucking remember but that tan pair you know exactly what i'm talking about i like that pair and the pe's he's been wearing i think the pe's that he's been wearing are pretty fire as well now am i convinced enough to buy them for casual wear i've seen a couple people do on feats of them and i don't know bro they're like okay but to me that's going to be just a straight up cozy sweatpants type shoe i don't think i'm gonna be able to pull those ones correctly the way i would like to with jeans we'll see if there's a colorway that i absolutely need and i get it i'll do a review but as for now the brown 15 i like it but none of the colorways have really pulled me to the store to buy them yet so we'll see what happens every time I do one of these videos as of late. There's an up tempo on the list, and they are stomping the fuck out of the up tempo right now with this joint right here. Absolute basura. The Chicago Air More up tempo. These all red with the shy on the side. I like what they tried to do. I get what they were trying to do, but the execution on these is sloppy. It does not look good. And I haven't seen one person say these are hard, bro. Like every time I see them anywhere, the comments are fucking destroying them. And for me, they just do not look good. They don't look good at all. I mean, I'm looking at them down here. You're looking at them right here, but I'm looking at them down here. I'm just like, I just need to go to the next release. These shits are trash, basically. So next up, we had these couple of shoes. Now, this was a women's only pack, but I really like the color, bruh. This brings me back to like the old school patent leather Air Force Ones. Now, this one is an all over port wine, which is basically a deep brown or deep burgundy color with the blue hits. And just with that all over patent leather makeup, it really reminds me of a really old school Air Force One patent leather release. I like the colors. There's also a low top as well, but I'll just focus on the SF AF1. Not a bad shoe. Small feet gang, y'all let me know. This one isn't for me. All brown, all patent leather. Are y'all digging the 03, 04, 05, 06 feeling of this Air Force, or are we too far in the future to appreciate this? Y'all let me know. Next one. Now, I'm not sure if I talked about this one before on the last heater hype that we did, but it's the Air Max 1 OG all blue, the anniversary pair. Not gonna speak long on it. I do like this shoe. I will get the shoe in the future, but I was waiting to see if I could maybe even get it under retail. With that last restock, it really destroyed the resale on them. And I feel like at this point, it's only the people that really want them getting them. If I can't get them from under retail, that's fine. Y'all know I got the red pair and delay W on the blue pair should be incoming. So that's how I feel. Definitely think these are heat in my opinion, at least next shoe okay so up next we have another ideas consortium collab drop and the theme bruh they killed the theme on this one and i didn't want to fuck it up and butcher it trying to just remember so i'm gonna just read it off this is from sneaker news the point of inspiration falls amongst right in between their locales as this aquatic theme is born from the silver rift a tectonic boundary in iceland this represents the earth shattering effects of two of the most powerful establishments coming together and creating new product through friction the Ultra Boost Mid and Energy Boost. So this is a new Adidas Consortium release and it is between Packer Shoes and Soulbox on the Energy Boost. 
and the Ultra Boost Mid. And when I seen this shoe, or seen both shoes, I was like, yo, with some of the promo that they had and some of the pictures, I was like, does this have to do with like tectonic plates and like fucking ridges and shit underneath the water when they crash together? I felt slick smart when I was confirmed I was right. I felt a little smart. Those Discovery Channel days, some of those high school days out of the books, they did count for something at least. I know what a tectonic plate is. So this is a theme born out of the Silver Rift, something that's between both stores. And I think both shoes are pretty strong collabs. Now they are a little loud. They do have a lot of different design elements to them, but I do like them. Now for some people that might not like the more colorful boost, they like the more simple boost colors, this might not be up their alley. But for someone who is a fan of just theme shoes, the collabs, I think they did a really good job. And to me, I like the energy boost better than the mid. I mean, the mid is hard too, but in my opinion, if I was to pick one out of this pack, I'm going for the energy boost for sure. I just think that that gray to blue is a hard look and y'all know how the last soul box drop was. So this one's probably gonna be as limited, maybe not as limited, but we'll see. Next drop on the way is the Nike Air Flying It Trainer Plus. And they're just calling this one purple. It's basically an all over dark purple version of the Flying It Trainer Plus. This isn't blowing me away. I definitely rather have like that yellow or bright Citron pair that they dropped. So I'll probably get that yellow pair. The purple pair, I'm probably gonna leave alone. Um, just cop the Maestro, so I think I'm good on my purple pairs of shoes right now. So that's it for that one. So this next one, I am very interested to see how these do. Now we have the Nike Air Max 720 and we see two new colorways. We have like, I'm looking at this one right now, you're probably looking at it right here, this yellow, black, and red colorway, and then you have more of the traditional white, black, and teal colorway. In my opinion, I like how the shoe looks. I'm definitely interested to see how much they're gonna price it at, what they're gonna do with the shoe, because I've seen a lot of people actually really digging it. So I'm gonna see if they're gonna treat it like something regular, or when they drop it, is it gonna be something crazy? I'm assuming they're gonna drop it as part of Air Max Day. There's a couple like Vapor Max like uh, tuned airs as well, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some more leaks, some more photos of those closer to Air Max Day when we get there. So in March, we'll have more info on these. Right now, I'm liking what I'm seeing, but we'll see what happens when they drop. Another Nike release this week, we had the Hyper Adapt 1.0 and Tinker Blue. The Hyper Adapt to me is a shoe that's all about the tech. I don't think that shoe really looks good at all. I think it's an awesome shoe for things that I didn't even think about. I was watching Casey Neistat's video. He sent him someone with disabilities that can just put the shoe on, put their heel in it, and that's cool. I like that aspect of the shoe, it definitely helps. It's definitely a move towards the future, but for me, I'm gonna wait until it's on a shoe that looks more aesthetically pleasing. I'm a casual guy, I'm a style guy, and in my opinion, this is the Air Mag of the Nike Air Monarch, the Air Mag Monarch joints. To me, I could care less about them. Again, we had another Adidas collab drop this week, the Sneakers and Stuff class of 99 pack where we had two pairs of the nmd cs2 and a teal and burgundy and i think russell athletics has a part of these as well hey listen two pairs of low top nmds or the cs2 it's, that's a weird shoe is it a low top is it a mid top whatever's in between those that's what it is i like both colors bruh the burgundy is clean the teal is clean just a clean overall pack and this may sell out, this may not, just because of how simple the shoes are, but in my opinion, these are a cop. I mean, why not? Burgundy, teal, can't go wrong with those. Next up in Air Jordan news, we had the Air Jordan 16 CEO drop last week. Rumored to have only 2,300 pairs. I'm sure there's a few more here and there for certain people. But 2,300 pairs, Air Jordan 16 CEO, I, I didn't care. <laughs> I mean, it, it was another one of those releases where it was just like, cool. A 16, I like certain 16s, cool, they're limited. All right, if you wanted them, cool, hopefully you got them. For me, uh, these are all hype in my opinion. This is a straight up 100% hype release. Uh, who cares, like, <laughs> I didn't care. In Reebok news, we have a Stranger Things, Bait, and Reebok collab. Now, your boy has already finished Stranger Things season two. It was fire, I'm not gonna spoil the ending. I mean, the ending was cool, but I didn't think it was crazy as the first one's ending. It, it was crazy, but not as, as crazy as the first one. And for anyone wondering, will there be a third one? Yeah, 
Yeah, it will be. Now they did this collab on the Exo Fit High, or was it Exo Fit Clean High? And it basically looks like something that the kids would have worn or the kids would have drawn on with Ghost and it just says no ghost. And it, the way it looks, some people are gonna like it, but I don't think a lot of people are gonna wear this. I think this would have been a cool. I don't know if they did a children's release of this shoe or a child's release, but I mean, the way that they have the scribbles on the shoe, it definitely looks like something that the kids in that show would have worn or the kids in the show would have put together as an adult. I don't know many people that might wear these. I mean, you could be a big Stranger Things fan, but I mean, these just kind of look like your five, six, seven, eight, nine year old cousin scribbled all over them about ghosts. So I like it for the fact that it stays true to Stranger Things, but for me, they're not clean. They're not anything I would personally wear. I fuck with Stranger Things. Don't fuck with this Reebok release though. Next up, we have the Nike SF AF1 High in all orange. And some of the pictures that I have been seeing of them so far, they are framing them up kind of like Doc Brown from Back to the Future, like a Doc Brown colorway in the all orange colorway at least. Now for me, I thought the SF AF1 that I have, which I guess is the mid now, was high enough. Well, actually no, because the mid is the one without the swoosh. So if this is the high, then what is the version with the two paracords? Is that is is that the high? Because these shits are high as fuck. I've seen them in person. Trust me, they will come up to your shins easily. I'm I'm not feeling them. I'm not feeling. I'm trying. I am trying. People are telling me, yo, these are fire. They're hot, bro. Trust me, these are gonna look crazy on feet. They're gonna be crack on feet. That whole big zipper on the front, I, the ropes. I don't know, bro. I don't know, so somebody's gonna have to really convince me. Someone's gonna have to really put a fit together to convince me on these because still to this day, the best SF is the ones that I have with the two pair cords and shit. The original SF AF1 High is yet to be beat. It's still undefeated, so we gonna see. We gonna see. Back to the Adidas side of things, we have basically a leak, a rumor. We don't know if they're gonna release widely. I just know Pharrell has a pair, and this is the Chanel adidas nmd and y'all already know when they drop these they're probably going to be more expensive than a regular nmd it's probably going to be more so of a chanel price shoe and the resale depending on how they drop them because something like this i'm pretty sure isn't going to be available anywhere or everywhere it's probably only going to be available at like places like chanel themselves and high tier adidas accounts so we'll see how that goes we'll see if they even release I know Pharrell and we know Pharrell is a fan of Chanel. So, I mean, that's a dope collab to get with the shoe and to have Adidas and Chanel on a shoe. It's one of those things where you wouldn't really expect it. I think that's kind of in the same realm as Supreme and Louis V. You're mixing something that usually would be more of a sportswear brand with a luxury brand and bring them together. And I mean, Supreme and LV was hot, people like that. And the Chanel NMD is hot as well. People who fuck with Chanel are gonna fuck with these. People who fuck with the NMD or Pharrell are gonna fuck with them too. It's just meshing everything together. Definitely, in my opinion, a hype release though. I can't say heat because there's other NMDs or other Pharrell joints that I think are way hotter than these. So. These are 100% hype, bro. The Chanel joints, they hyped up. Next up, we got one of the best releases this week, hands down, the LA Lee May Air Jordan 1, which some are calling the Shadow Satin, or they're calling the Satin Air Jordan 1. I'm gonna just say it's the May Air Jordan 1, because LA Lee, I might fuck that up. I'm sorry if she somehow watches this. I'm not familiar with her at all. Just kind of came out of nowhere, but you made a fire shoe nonetheless. Now the uppers are a mixture of corduroy, which looks like a Chanel on the swoosh, and then you have the satin on the pieces that would usually be that gray. Now some people are just asking for the shadows back. For me, I mean, my shadows are tucked, bro. My shadows are tucked away back there, so I, I'm not I'm not in a rush to get a retro of those, because I got a pair. I'm sorry, I wasn't sleeping when they dropped. I got my joints back there. But I definitely was planning on getting a pair of these, unfortunately, the local shop next to me that got them, I missed the IG post to go get a ticket for them. And no, I leg to y'all's about to fuck up again. May Air Jordan 1s for your boy. Maybe in the future I'll get them. I mean, I think it's a clean shoe. I mean, maybe do I do I really need them because I have the shadows? Not really, but the Chanel swoosh, 
the satin aspects on them are enough and the corduroy is a killer the killer corduroy for sure i definitely think it's one of the best releases this week and in my opinion it's 100 heat yes there is some hype on that joint but in my opinion heat for sure and we just got a few more then we're out of here bro because every time i look at these over the weekend i just am amazed at how many fucking shoes drop every fucking week every week i have 10 different tabs open of 10 different releases of five different collabs just a lot of shit dropping, but I mean, that gives everyone a lot more choice. Now, next up, we have the Air Max 97 in the Japan colorway. Me, personally, if you're gonna go for this colorway, they're nice, they are clean, but we also have seen the neon, the 95 neon colorway of the 97 with the gradient gray, with the neon green. So between the neon 97 and this Japan 97, I'm gonna take the neons all day, every day. So this one, I'm gonna pass on. I'm gonna get the neons whenever they drop and I'm gonna make that happen. So that was that one. And I think we got one or two more left. Well, the other story was the AF100 collection, but I'm gonna make a complete separate video on that. You got the Travis Scott collab, Don C collab, Off-White collab, the Rock joints. So that can be its own separate video, in my opinion, on those joints. Now, last up, we also have the Adidas Beluga 2.0 we have to talk about Yeezy. Yeezy is somewhere in the video in my opinion one of the better colorways I have seen the semi semi frozen yellow pair in person the McChickens the McDoubles Those shits are pretty pretty hideous in person like if you have them right now You're a cool guy, but when they drop they're they don't look good, bro I don't know why they put that gum and also on those that could be the ugliest Yeezy ever to release I'm sorry Y'all know I usually like the weird shit, the weird colors. I try to like say I can make it work and I could make it work if I wanted to, but fuck that. I am not even gonna chase those. If I can get them for a video, fine. That's fine, I'll get them for a video. But other than that, I'm good. I'm good on the McChicken Yeezys. So listen, man, that is gonna be it. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters i hope you guys enjoyed this heater hype you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there buzz about of course bullet rc and i will see y'all on the next one y'all be easy your boy is out of here enjoy the rest of y'all night peace